Hello everyone, welcome to Pharmacy Lectures. Today we are going to discuss Inorganic Pharmaceutical Chemistry MCQs. Here we will discuss dental products. First, concentration of fluoride required for use as anti-caries agent in water supply. In drinking water supply is 0.5 to 1 ppm or 10 to 15 ppm or 15 to 20 ppm or 20 to 100 ppm. The required concentration of fluoride Optimum concentration is 0 0.5 to 1 ppm. If there is more quantity of fluoride that is more than 2 to 3 ppm, then the fluoride can be carried to bones and it can give rise to muttered enamel known as dental fluorosis. Next, ammonical silver nitrate solution can be used for oncomycosis, calcification, or as acidifying agent or both B and C, calcification and acidifying agent. The right answer is oncomycosis. The ammonical sil um, silver nitrate solution is a solution of a complex silver salt that has been used in the treatment of oncomycosis. The silver content of the solution is about 30% and the ammonia content is around 10%. Concentration of hydrogen peroxide for use as mouthwash is a 3% weight by volume, B 4% weight by volume, C 2% weight by volume, or none of the above. The required concentration of hydrogen peroxide for mouthwash is 3% weight by volume. Anything stronger than 3% is likely to cause irritation. Next question. Example of desensitizing agent in dental product. Strontium chloride, strontium fluoride, zinc chloride or both A and C. Strontium chloride and zinc chloride. The right answer is both A and C. Strontium chloride and zinc chloride. Zinc chloride belongs to a group of drugs called astringent and strontium chloride is useful in reducing tooth sensitivity by forming a barrier over microscopic tubules in the dentin containing nerve endings that have become exposed by gum recession. Fifth question. One of the following is not the three layers of calcified tissue of tooth. A. Epidermis B. Cementum C. Dentine or D. Enamel one of the following is not the three layers of calcified tissue of tooth. The right answer is epidermis. Epidermis is the outermost layer of skin. Here we can see the outermost layer of skin. There are generally three layers of the skin, main layers. Epidermis, dermis and subcutaneous layer. Option B, C and D are the three layers of calcified Tooth. Next question Vitamin A deficiency causes hypoplastic enamel in imperfectly calcified, B calcification of dentine, C reduced absorption of calcium from GIT, or D reduced deposition of calcium and phosphorus in tooth. So, one of the following is caused by vitamin A deficiency. The right answer is hypoplastic enamel that is imperfectly calcified enamel. Here you can see the normal enamel and mild calcified enamel, severe uh, you can call it decalcified enamel or severe hypoplastic enamel. This is the structure of vitamin A. Uh, it is uh, chemically called as all trans retinol. Vitamin C deficiency affects calcification of the enamel, absorption of calcium from GIT, calcification of dentine, or all A, B, and C. That is calcification of the enamel, absorption of calcium from GIT, and calcification of dentine. The right answer is calcification of dentine. This is the structure of vitamin C or chemically ascorbic acid. 
ascorbic acid is essential to the biosynthesis of collagen the major organic matrix component of dentin dental caries or tooth decay is more or less a disease of the teeth caused by uh, produced by the action of microorganisms on carbohydrates you must name the substance which can cause dental caries or tooth decay produced by microorganisms it is either acid it is base it is salt or none of the above the right answer is acids <coughs> the tooth surface normally loses some tooth uh, mineral from the action of the acid formed by plaque bacteria after ingestion of foods microorganism decompose the food and produce the by product acid sodium fluoride may be prepared by neutralizing hydrofluoric acid with you have to name the substance uh, by which sodium fluoride can be prepared from hydrofluoric acid it is magnesium carbonate it is calcium carbonate it is potassium carbonate or it is sodium carbonate one of the following uh, bases is neutralized by the acid and sodium fluoride is formed the right answer is sodium carbonate you can see in sodium fluoride there is one sodium atom and one fluoride atom the sodium carbonate can give one sodium atom and sodium fluoride can be formed sodium fluoride is prepared by neutralizing hydrofluoric acid neutralizing agents include sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate dentrifices are applied as powder solution suspension or emulsion you must choose the best answer uh, by what uh, dentrifices are generally applied as the best answer here is powder dentrifices are agents used along with a toothbrush to clean and polish natural teeth they are generally applied in paste powder and gel form the best answer in those options was powder which of the following is not common dentrifice in tooth and tooth in toothpaste and tooth powder calcium phosphate sodium metaphosphate sodium perborate or calcium carbonate which of the following is not common dentrifice in toothpaste and tooth powder <clears throat> calcium phosphate sodium metaphosphate sodium perborate or calcium carbonate the right answer here is sodium perborate sodium perborate acts as a mild disinfectant and deodorant it finds used in tooth powders or as mouthwashes but not as a common dentrifice <clears throat> externally calcium phosphate finds used as a dentrifice for oral administration calcium phosphate is recommended as an antacid electrolyte replenisher bulk purgative or both antacid and electrolyte replenisher externally it finds use as dentrifies uh, for oral administration uh, in which of the following calcium phosphate can be recommended the right answer is both a and b that is both antacid and electrolyte replenisher calcium phosphate is able to supply both calcium and phosphorus which is needed for the growth in children pregnant woman and lactating mother externally it finds use as a dentrifice having chelating action next question is strontium chloride having formula finds use in medicated dentrifices and to relieve dental hypersensitivity you have to find out the formula for strontium chloride srcl.s2o srcl3.3s2o srcl2.6s2o or srcl4.7s2o in order to find the right answer you must know the valency of strontium the right answer is srcl2.6s2o 
strontium is a salt of strontium and chloride SrCl2 is useful in reducing tooth sensitivity by forming a barrier over microscopic tubules in the dentin containing nerve endings that have been become exposed by gum recession the number of valence electron is strontium is 2 and that's why SrCl2 14 zinc has one of the following applications dental sensitivity for common cold for wounds and injuries or all of the above the right answer is all of the above because zinc can be used for dental sensitivity also for common cold also and to improve your wounds and injuries also to make them better zinc chloride finds used as a good astringent when used in solution form for topical applications zinc gluconate is often used in cold remedies such as lozenges and nasal sprays if you are suffering from common cold zinc plays a major role in regulating every phase of wound healing process ranging from membrane repair oxidative stress coagulation inflammation and immune defense tissue re-epithelization angiogenesis to fibrosis and scar formation 15 hydrogen peroxide of this percentage solution can be used as a mouthwash how much percentage of hydrogen peroxide is generally used as mouthwash 0.3 percent 3 percent 30 percent or 90 percent the right answer is 3 percent hydrogen peroxide is an antiseptic frequently used to clean minor cuts or disinfect surfaces hydrogen peroxide is also a bleaching agent anything stronger than 3% solution is likely to cause irritation next question hydrogen peroxide is used as antiseptic protective acidifying agent or antioxidant the right answer is antiseptic simple question hydrogen peroxide is a mild antiseptic used on the skin to prevent infection of minor cuts scrapes and burns it may also be used as a mouth rinse to help remove mucus or to relieve minor mouth irritation example due to canker cold sores or gingivitis 17 few mice is used in dental product as abrasive antiseptic disinfectant or all of the above the right answer is abrasive Pumice is a light gray, highly siliceous material produced by volcanic activity. The floor of pumice is a very finely grounded derivative which is used for polishing of tooth enamel, gold foil, dental amalgam, and acrylic resins. Question number 18 Which of the following is temporary filling material? There are generally two types of filling material for teeth temporary and permanent. You have to identify temporary one zinc oxide eugenol silver amalgam composite resin or both a and b zinc oxide eugenol and silver amalgam the right answer is zinc oxide eugenol is temporary filling material zinc oxide eugenol cement is a low strength base used as a temporary cement filling in the event that the patient will return at a later date for a semi-permanent restoration mm. the powder is mainly zinc oxide and the liquid is eugenol with olive oil as a plasticizer question number 19 after using chlorhexidine at least uh, weight is good before eating and drinking after using chlorhexidine mouthwash you must wait for some time you must know the minimum time frame you must wait before eating and drinking for your optimal health 5 minute 10 minute 15 minute or 30 minute the right answer is 30 minute after using chlorhexidine wait at least 30 minutes before rinsing your mouth with water or mouthwash brushing your teeth eating or drinking Last question. Povidone iodine has been employed as a dental antiseptic. Side effects of povidone iodine mouthwash can be 
itching, burning, reddening and blistering or all of the above. Which one of the following is the side effects of povidone iodine <coughs> if employed as dental antiseptic? <coughs> the right answer is all of the above. Povidone iodine can give rise to allergic reactions including itching, burning and reddening and blistering in the area of application. So a patient's history of allergy to iodine or selfish must be evaluated. Prolonged iodine intake can inhibit thyroid hormone synthesis and cause goiter, myxedema or hyperthyroidism. So this was all about the dental products. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, please comment uh, below. Uh, see you in next video.